welcome back to my channel and happy new year this is my first video of the year and as you can see by the title i'm going to be doing my everyday glam look now i am starting off with the maybelline super stay full coverage foundation because i have hyperpigmentation and i need that full coverage honey like i get my buffing brush and i just buff it into my skin and it honestly for a full coverage foundation it still looks like skin and for an everyday look you don't want to have that thick cake face now i'm a cake face type of girl but not for an everyday look i still want my skin to peek through and still have that glow feel so i don't want to cake it on today so i'm trying this makeup revolution concealer for the first time and it's pretty good it dries really fast so you have to work fast with it that's why i'm using two hands naturally a lefty but i gotta go in with that right one with the buffing brush and one with the sponge and get it done so to set my face i go in with the laura mercier translucent powder now this is on the high end i haven't found a setting powder that i personally like that's like an everyday powder so i gotta use this one so i press it into my skin and let it sit for a while, not too long, probably like two minutes, and I just contour my face with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Powder. This one is in Mahogany. And yeah, I'm just gonna bronze up my face and give it some color. I like to use a big fluffy brush to put my bronzer on because I wanna get rid of those harsh lines from the um, translucent powder. So that really helps with like the chin and under my cheekbone. And then I just get a smaller brush to brush away the powder and blend in the contour and the highlight together. So for my glow, which is my favorite part after contouring, I use a fluffy brush as well because I don't want like that straight line on my cheeks, on the highlights of, of the high points of my cheek. I don't just want the straight line. I just, I need it to, you know, look natural. So using a fluffy brush helps with that. And then I go in with a smaller brush on my nose to make it a little cute button nose. And then I take my blush and I put it on my contour line and on the apples of my cheek and on my forehead because that also gives a little bit more of a glowy look because naturally our skin is kind of, well my skin is kind of red. So I like to add that effect, if you want to say, into my look i go in with a contour color for my eyes because my eyelids are darker than a little, a little bit darker than the rest of my face so you want to contour your eyes as well so i use like an orange um transition eyeshadow and i put it on my eyelids and under my my lower eyelids too and for my brows i wanted to go for a natural bushy boy brow so i'm not gonna outline it with any concealer just gonna Fill them in with the pencil and just go on about the rest of the look. And this is my signature highlight baby doll inner corner eye look. I always go in with a white eyeshadow and put it in the inner corners of my eyes because it opens my eyes up. Oh my God. It opens it up so much. And people are always asking me, that's what I do. So for my lashes, I got these lashes from the beauty supply store. They're called Miss Lashes and M. 319 and they're shorter than the lashes that I normally get because remember this is an everyday look so I still want to have that glam but still not overdo it. For my lips I'm going to start off with the Sephora Molasses Lip Liner then I'm going to top it off with the Milani New Lip Gloss which is discontinued and then I'm going to go on with this Milani Lip Plumper and I think the color is vanilla, but it's a frosty lip and y'all know I love frosty lips. So just had to put that in the center of my lips to just give it a little bye bye boom. So I'm gonna get my finger and blend in the colors with the lip liner. And that's the finished look. I hope this was easy for you guys to follow. I will be coming out with more videos and thank you for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.